Codemic, and this is a tutorial on how to get tornadoes into Minecraft. Now this is going to be a lot simpler than you think, you know you don't need to program the tornado yourself or anything. What we're going to do is download the Technic Launcher Pack. Now this is really popular and it has all sorts of awesome mods and stuff, so I'm sure maybe some of you already have this installed already. Uh, so if you have that installed already, uh, then you can skip this part of the video. But if you don't, you're going to search Technic Launcher, Launcher T-E-C-H-N-I-C Launcher. Uh, there's going to be something that pops up called the uh, Technic Launcher Download. Now it works with Windows, OS 10, and Linux. So obviously I'm running Windows 10 here, so I'm going to want to choose the Windows option. Okay, I'll wait a minute for it to load. Okay, loading. Nice little long, uh, icon of a wrench or something there. Okay, so I'm going to skip the part of me signing into my Minecraft account, but obviously you do need a uh, Minecraft account to make this work, so if you don't have a Minecraft account, then go buy it or something, or else uh, you won't be able to play this. Okay, I just signed into my Minecraft account, and now we're at this very nice looking home screen on the Technic Launcher, and there's all sorts of uh, games and stuff. I've heard a lot of good things about Stardew Valley, uh, merchandise and stuff. Uh, but we're gonna hit Mod Packs, and uh, there's already some other things here. Uh, but what we're gonna do is search Tornado, just that easy. If uh, There we go, and it pops up with Glixel's Entropy. I think that's how you say his username. Glixel is a uh, the programmer, or I don't know if he just assembled this mod pack himself. Uh, there's all sorts of other ones here, but uh, of all the ones I've tested out, Glixel's Entropy is the uh, most fun, I would say. It adds tornadoes, typhoons, landslides, cave-ins, meteor strikes, and alien invasion will test your resolve to survive. Explore the solar system, tech up and get guns, cars, tanks, planes, reactors, computers, and titans. So uh, this is the full Technic pack, there's all sorts of stuff in it, it's almost limitless in what you can do, uh, but if you're just wanting to play around with weather, you can just do that too, it's very simple. Uh, to install this thing, you're just going to need to do the uh, hard thing of hitting the install button, and it will uh, download everything for us here, so uh, it shouldn't take too long depending on your internet connection, and we'll be right back. Okay, it looks like our version has now installed, or our Technic Launcher thing has now installed. Um, and now we're gonna hit play and see if it actually works here. So we'll be uh, right back. I'm actually gonna switch screen recorders and uh, um, get the fraps here because that'll get us some better screen quality and I can show you guys how to set up a uh, tornado and kind of test out some structures, see what's durable and not. I'll be right back. So after you uh, load into the game, we uh, get to this screen here. The uh, loading will take a while, so don't worry about that. Uh, so now you can go to single player, or you can like do a LAN game as well if both players have this uh, Technic Pack installed. Uh, I like to play this a lot with uh, some friends on a LAN network. So we're just going to call it uh, Kansas in honor of uh, Dorothy, I guess. Uh, sure, everything else looks fine. I'm gonna keep the settings on normal. Uh, and it takes a second to uh, generate the world here, so we'll be right back. This is one of the uh, more bizarre things I've ever seen in uh, this mod or Minecraft. I've never actually had this problem with the mod. Uh, so hopefully you guys don't have this problem of these random grid lines showing up. Uh, it looks like it's highlighting where the chunks are in Minecraft. Now I'll uh, insert a clipper, I don't know if you guys just saw that, it depends on what I do in editing. Um, there was a bunch of green grid marks in these red lines, so I don't know if just restarting the game would help. Uh, and if you guys do have problems like this, uh, I'll try to post a solution in the uh, um, description, so look for that. I'll try to do my research and get some useful links in there. But uh, this is Glixel's... Uh, storm pack here. 
Um, it's normally a very, very nice mod, but uh, it shouldn't hurt the functionality of this. It looks like uh, we may have a storm coming in. So I put myself in creative mode so I can kind of show off some of the uh, cooler things of the mod pack so you can at least get started. So if you hit E to go into the normal uh, survival uh, creative menu, if you, uh, you'll see this nice new uh, um, interface here. So we're going to scroll over to page 6, I think, yep, and you'll see kind of this tornado looking block. And here's a lot of the uh, weather blocks. We have a tornado siren, I'll get myself one of those, a weather forecast, and a weather machine, which actually allows you to change the weather. And then if, say, you want to build a uh, structure that you don't want to get destroyed by a tornado, plop down a weather deflector, and that will keep the uh, 250 block radius around the block safe from uh, tornadoes and hurricanes and such, or cyclones. So if I plop down the weather forecast, it'll take it a second to uh, load in here, but you'll see you get all sorts of uh, interesting things here. The wind angle, the wind speed, the amount of particles in the air. I hear uh, the wind blowing up there and I don't even have a shelter. Um, it so looks like there's a thunderstorm on the map. Uh, let's see what happens when we plop down a... Uh, you know what, let me quickly build a uh, house here, I'll be right back. So, uh, I just quickly built this shack here, and now we're gonna see what happens. Uh, I also noticed something, when I turned off my screen recorder, these red lines disappeared. So apparently the, uh, fraps and, uh, the mod pack don't like to, uh, work with each other very well. So that could be the problem, uh, I'll try to troubleshoot that a little later and post my, uh, findings there. Uh, I'm gonna try to build a glass wall here, just cause I think I'll need that. So, uh, this is my very basic tornado shelter, and whenever you, like, if you quit the game and come back in, it resets the weather, so there was just a, uh, thunderstorm before with lightning and stuff, but now, uh, nothing's happening. So I'm gonna go into game mode zero, which is survival. Uh, stick down a weather machine, and if you right click on it, it cycles through the weather. So we have lightning, and a lightning storm appeared, high wind, hail, and then that one. Oh, there we go. There's the storm. This is Kodemic and a Tornado, I'd like to uh, thank you for watching, and uh, it's probably destroying my house down there, and I'm gonna die. So uh, that's what a tornado looks like, and uh, that's how you quickly spawn one to test out your structures, you can mess with the blocks and things up and all this stuff, and just have as much fun as you want, so uh, thanks for watching, uh, uh, I just hit 56 subscribers, so I'm really happy.